Watch this! For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. Uh, I think we keep the prismatic lens, pitch everything else away. We want to just kind of get kind of get a high roll off of that, off of both of those. <laughs> this might be a gross game. Oh, that's a bummer. Why shaman? Perfect. It's good to pitch that or to fish that out because that's one less spell that we could hit. But we have two chances to like mega high roll here. I think I'm looking for tip the scales most of all. I do have to be concerned about devolve though. So that's something to think about. Okay. Not not exactly what we wanted to hit. We tried control anything with just Murkai War Leaders and Bluegills. This has just Murkai War Leaders and Bluegill. I don't think that you can build it uh, with a control shell anymore. Because the metagame is too fast and you can't keep up. Job done. Okay. Hit this oh, we almost had our chance at the ten mana one. Of course, it's the right way. So if we get devolved, do we probably lose here? X is also quite bad. That's neither. Okay. We win? So it's six plus uh, eight plus three. And then we just have the, uh, the consecration as well. It's a pretty good turn seven. Six plus nine plus three. So it's exactly the deck works. For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. Right, let's try and let's try and have another one of those. That was fun. I'm just looking for the high roll again. I think just keeping this for a one drop is okay though. Okay, we're gonna try and coin out the tips tip the scales so that Maybe we don't have to, like, cheat everything completely. Keep Consec? For what? Uh. I'm looking for uh, cycles. I'm looking for the call. I'm looking for call to arms. I'm looking for prismatic wounds. Devolve is once again concerning, but not much I can do about that. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can eye roll. Call, contact. Not really a big deal. It does just get us two cards deeper into our deck. I'm still saving the uh, the coin for the tip the scale slow because that's kind of how we win. Why is the call on this deck? Because he's super broken on turn three with the uh, the Molten Giants. Wait, I don't have the Molten Giants. <laughs> How did I lose the Molten Giants from this deck? I'll cut the, the call. This might be good enough for the, the first evolve, but I've got like a backup game plan with the tip the scales anyway. The call with no giants? I just like uh, making some armor. 
the calls to send a message. Exactly. I'm glad somebody gets it. Honestly, I'm just fine with trades. We just contact and go face. See if we can draw into something else playable here. Perfect. Ish. Actually, it is pretty good because if this stays on board, we just rip the um, the war leader and or not the war leader, the merc guy and the the blue gel. I wonder if I save the coin now to try and get to the anything faster. That seems like the play. Can we just shove this out, play this on curve, and then follow it up with a, an immediate anything? <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> oh, fantastic mechanic. Look at that. Look at this power play. And you guys doubted this. I've got a 3-6 for four mana. It's that easy. How integral are the Keeper of Voldemort? They could be giants if you really want them to be. Yeah, I think they were initially, but if, like I built this um, using a website at work, and I think that like because of the change to the Walton Giants or something, they fell out of it. I don't know what was going on, but I promise they were in here at one point. Eight mana old Murkai. Yikes. <laughs> this is fine. I have five murlocs. I don't know if I can kill this off, and it's kind of funny. actually in the way right now. You belong to the bog now. Is this ever lethal? That's incredible. <laughs> Yes. That's incredible. Always lethal? Yeah, I thought so. Just because the war leader are, gets to attack. That was the limiting factor previously. Watch your back. I will fight with honor. Just keep the one drop, pitch everything else away. Looking for prismatic lens. Okay. Well, this is a, a hand that we can dump into a divine favor at least, so... That's something to consider. So we might actually like have this be a playable card. The light dims, but we fight. Could be Mill, Burgle. We got a pair of uh got a pair of mini bots already. If we triple them up, it doubles the stats. Big Rogue? Kingsbane Rogue? Question mark? I don't know what's going on. We could coin out a Divine Favor here. Try and hit a Righteous Protector. Ah, eh, this is probably better. Just make the curve play. Yellow South Rogue, I, I don't think that's the thing that exists. Not anymore. We could try and bring it back, though. Yeah, it's Kingsbane. We should be able to beat Kingsbane. We've got this. Blood and blunder. It's fine. Blood and it's blunder. less fine. If we just consec this, and I don't want to give up. I want to give in face damage right now, so I'm just gonna attack face. Give up my minions. 
Why did he attack the one one? I that's a good question. I don't know. Probably just mad that they drew patches. Sure. Now I have to trade into that. Um. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we're fine. You won't like Anoyatron? I mean, there's probably saps in there, but yeah, I mean, Anoyatron, Righteous Protector are the reasons why this used to be like a highly favored matchup when Kingsman Rogue is a big deal. Maybe a Shiny Finder in hand? Any? Okay. Probably wanna. Probably wanna save that. Got eight. Can I race from here? If I like draw into tip the scales, I can win. Trade the two three. I think that's my worst trade. Like, there's two cards in hand. I'm not that worried about um, cannon damage. What's the call for without giants? I forgot to put giants in the deck. Is really what it comes down to. And I'm too stubborn to make any changes after the fact. I think we just go face. It gives me outs for lethal. It um, puts the opponent in an awkward spot. We don't die, so make them make the trades. They just top decked. <laughs> oh. Oh, card games. Don't the Giants make the Prismatic Lens worth a, worse anyway? Sure, that's that's what we were thinking. Also, this is the out that I was playing too, so it's cool that I drew into it. Warlock, all right. Hopefully this isn't one of those pesky Void Lord running Warlocks again. I will fight with honor. I will fight with honor. Thank you, Uther. Good guy, Uther. Oh god, those are not the cards I want to see. <laughs> Alright, we'll just high roll it up the scales again. I should just concede now. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We'll play into the tips it's tip the scales out again. Oh god, this is gonna have Void Lord too. Let go. <laughs> Win rate is 20% or something? That is just not true. Yeah, it's probably Q-Block or just like a zoo with eggs. Q-Block is better than like most other decks that are potentially running um, Void Lords. Let's go his face. 3-2-6 taunt, not bad. So Defile doesn't really tell us much either, does it? Hmm. I'm gonna make the curve play again. We've already seen a Defile, so... I don't feel that bad about playing into it. I want to keep uh, pushing damage. Even if there is a Defile, we have the uh, the follow-up with the tip the scales. Hey, Frost Prime. Welcome. Glad you've been liking the YouTube. There's that second Defile we said he didn't possibly... Couldn't possibly have. Skull... Of the Minari. Yikes. Um, let's make this a large man. So we've got the tip of the scales next turn, which is going to be pushing through the Void Lord. That's not a Void Lord. We're doing something. Something good happened. Cube doesn't really change much, but I think we just have lethal, right? Unless there's like Void Lord into a sack pack or some way to pop it. 
Yeah, that's too slow. You needed a void caller there. Sure, we win. I'll take it. No high rolling necessary. No void lords necessary. Six then nine? Nice.